Welcome back, everybody. 923 here on CGB Morning Live. Our good friend uh, Shirley Roy is here from Ottawa Mission. How are you? I'm good. How good are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I guess uh, you're, you're getting ready for a big day on Sunday, eh? Absolutely. Um, from 11.30 till 5 on Sunday, we'll be having our annual Christmas dinner down at the Ottawa Mission, which is a big deal. I mean, it's it's been going on probably about 20 years now, yeah. and it's something that people are starting to look forward to in the community. People who, uh, are, you know, are alone, don't have family in town, yeah. who are, you know, struggling, don't have the means to put a special turkey dinner on the table, they Le come down. Yeah, let's face it, for the most part, the people who come to your dinner this Sunday will not have the opportunity to have Christmas dinner in any other way. Op I think more people start to get invited over to people's places at Christmas time, but uh, we do see people that, that can't put one on the table right. themselves, right. And, right. Uh, and they enjoy the you know, we try to make it festive, and they enjoy the fellowship. To, I've, I've been over there to see it happen, yeah. and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Um, here's the deal. You're going to be cooking up <laughs> 72,500 pounds of oven-roasted turkey. No, not quite that much. 72,000? 7,200. 7,200. <laughs> That's a lot of turkey. 50 gallons of gravy. Yeah. 300 tortillas. Yeah. 450 pounds of mashed potatoes. Glazed baby carrots, 400 pounds, 400 pounds of green beans, 200 dozen, uh, 210 dozen dinner rolls, and 3,000 cupcakes. That, yeah, the cupcakes are were it's new last donated, year, right? and they, yeah, there's a, a local baker <laughs> bakes out of her home, Jose Cowley, and she decided last year that she was going to try and provide enough cupcakes for our Christmas dinner, and it worked out well. And now she's she's getting support from other people who are donating cupcakes as well. So yeah. it's a nice little treat at the uh, end of the meal. It's a, yeah, it's a nice network of people yeah. that uh, get together and uh, and provide things, right? And you, you, hopefully you see different people all the time helping yeah, out. Absolutely. The, the, the donations, so especially Thanksgiving, Christmas, they come in. Uh, people are so generous with f donations of frozen turkeys yeah. and, and food for the meal. And it's nice at this time of year, Shirley, but the bottom line is uh, it's not always this way year-round, is it? No, we were just mentioning that uh, it would be nice to have another Christmas in May, if that's possible. Right. Just because that's when things start to uh, to get very quiet in the donation department. And we see so much generosity at Christmas. Everybody wants to make sure that everybody has a nice Christmas dinner or a warm coat in the cold weather. But around April, May, uh, the need is still there. The shelters are still full, but the donations do die down. Yeah. And so if anything... What, what kind of the, donations are you looking for? Donations of, you know, the food, uh, but also of the daily requests that we get for things like socks and underwear and, and used men's clothing and towels and, and just monetary donations to be able to run some of the programs that we run for um, helping people get out of the shelter. Right. For, so, for example, if I have a, a bag of clothes uh, at home, I can just drop it off at the mission? Men's clothes, yeah. We're accepting men's clothes all the time. Right. And, and as the seasons change, obviously the, there's a, a need for, in the summer, right. you know, uh, ball caps and t-shirts and shorts and then in the winter it changes to warm clothing so yeah, yeah that that type of donation really helps and as well the <coughs> the donations to you know uh, of people who want to help with our job training programs or our learning center or things like you know the addiction treatment programs yeah. that needed, are yeah. needed yeah. and you need volunteers to help out there Volunteers are needed year-round as well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> we have enough for Christmas. Um, th that's when people really would like to get involved is around Christmas. But again, as well as the donations, after Christmas, things tend to get pretty quiet. So yeah. if somebody doesn't uh, have a chance to volunteer uh, over Christmas, it would be great to have them down after Listen, Christmas. and then you go over there uh, when you volunteer, whenever that is, mm -hmm. and you end up talking to the people who use the mission, and, and some of them have had great careers that suddenly have the, you know they've been amazing, downsized yeah. and yeah. you meet people from all over the country yeah. who end up here and uh, they're very interesting folks and the, the job programs you guys have uh, job training programs yes fantastic they are they really give people a <coughs> bit of a, a leg up uh, yeah. we have one in our building maintenance so they learn a little bit of, of drywalling and flooring and plumbing and electricals yeah. and the basics we've heard some great yeah. stories out of there yeah they really get a leg by up. the way here's what you do right now folks okay so they've got enough volunteers for sunday and they have enough food for sunday but think about other yeah. par times of the year but if you want to help out and this will help out year round uh text meal to four five six seven eight right yep and ten dollars will go to the Ottawa mission you'll be charged on your phone bill is that that's how right that's how it works and mobile giving foundation will issue a receipt as well if you go to their website so, yeah so you can text or you can go to our website which is has a, a secure donation page on it yeah. as well
Shirley, thanks. Pleasure. Thanks Happy for holidays us. to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, Jeff Meal is what you text four five six seven eight.